there. It is very dark. Here, let me just, uh, a little makeshift right here. That is so makeshift. There, perfect! Look at that lighting. Alright guys, so... Pretty much, yeah, I'm making a new video and uh, here starts the daily vlogs type other videos like this and reaction videos. This is gonna be like my first reaction video and it's gonna be really, really strange because we're going with strange addictions. I hope you guys like this video. If you wanna see more of this kind of video, just uh, leave a like down below and comment. And uh, definitely subscribe. All right, so let's get started. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna start this video right now. All right, Kansas City. My nice. name is Bria. I'm 19 years old. Hi, Bria. And I'm addicted to eating sand. Okay, why? <laughs> the sound of the crunching, dude. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Just love the crunch. Why? It's always good on top of food, like a seasoning or something. I've a taken seasoning? A chip. How's it a seasoning? You can't even taste it. Dipped them in sand and ate them, and it gave the chip the best crunch that I've ever got in my entire life. You know what? I kind of know what she feels because, um, I mean, I like the crunch of chips. I mean, so if you put sand on it, it'll it'll give you a little more of a crunch. I don't know what to say about that because you got all that bacteria in the sand from people's dead skin cells being in the sand. Uh, their hair. Yeah, I don't I don't know. There might have been some dog crap right there too where she's eating the sand. But anyways, let's let's keep watching. Combination of sand is when I mix it with gum. It's just like mouth watering. Mouth watering. Sand is mouth watering. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I can I kind of know what she feels like the crunchiness with the I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe I'm going to go eat some sand after this video, guys. Addiction first developed 5 years ago when she accidentally got a mouthful of sand at the beach. She was instantly hooked on the crunchy texture. Hooked. Before I go to bed, I put like a pinch in my mouth. When I wake up in the morning, there's still pieces like in my teeth. That must be fun. Wake up and have sand in your teeth. What about like eating the sand? Wouldn't that like wear down the enamel of your teeth and it would just be horrible? Ah, I don't know what to think of that though. When I first found out that Bria was eating sand, I was like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. That's nasty. <laughs> That's nasty. Eats sand up to six times. That's nearly 11,000 times since her addiction. When I'm began. craving sand, I lick 11,000 times. And dip it inside of the sand and put it on the back of my teeth and just chew it. Imagine that. Just like, hey, mom, I'm hungry. What do you want? I want a bowl of sand. Okay. I like the fact that it grits on my teeth. It gives it that. That you don't get. I wonder if there's like specific kind of sands that she likes. Bria is so dependent on that satisfying crunch, she turns to nail files when her sand supply runs low. Oh. It has like sandpaper on it that gives me the Nail files! Crunch. What? So I put it like in the back of my teeth and just go like this. Why? But Bria's cravings can't be satisfied with just any sand. My favorite sand is actually the sand from the playground or a park. Told you, I she has to have a favorite sand. Taking a handful, then I take like the big rocks out. It's natural, it's straight from the earth. It's really good oh and it's gosh. really crunchy. Okay, um, that was that. Let's look for another one. What is this? What is this? Okay, here we go. You guys ready? My name is Gloria. I don't think you're ready. I'm 28 years old, and my addiction is bleach. Yep. Bleach I is her addiction. A lot. I ain't gonna say I love more than I love myself, but I do love bleach. Imagine just going up to someone, I love bleach. They would think you're joking, but uh, no, you're not. I don't consider myself a germaphobe. I'm not afraid of dirt. I'm not afraid of germs. I just like the feel of bleach. Every day, Gloria cleans her house top to bottom with bleach. She goes through more than 300 gallons every year. Bleach has ruined her clothes and damaged furniture, but Gloria refuses nice. to stop cleaning with it. 
Now I go and I wipe like my tables down, my stairwell down with it, cleaning the bathroom with it, my toilets, my sink, the tub in the kitchen. I clean my stove with it, my countertop, refrigerator. There's been times where I walked in the house and bleach, the bleach smell just slapped me in the face. That would slap me too. Dude, if I went into a house and it smelled like bleach, I'd immediately go right back out because it would be too strong for me. And plus, I'd know that it would be like damaging my lungs or something because whatever you breathe in goes into your lungs and into your bloodstream. The nutritionist and doctor, they, they made me stop doing it. And, and I thought it was just because I was pregnant and it will go away. When you pour it on your hands or like on your skin, does it like make your skin tingle or something i'm i'm not sure because if it does then i might be trying this guys every morning gloria now adds bleach to her bath water what she takes baths in bleach why 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 hey you smell good today yeah i know what's that smell i mean like it's a really good perfume i'll tell you that it's bleach every time i take a shower and or a bath i have to use bleach I have to use it. I first run the water, mm -hmm. then I take the bleach and I pour it in a tub. It's not a certain amount that I use, I just pour until I feel like it's enough. When I stay too long, my eyes have burned and my skin have tingled, so that lets me know that it's time to get out. What? All right, who likes the smell of gasoline? I actually, I actually like the smell of gas. I mean, do you guys like the smell of gas? This person likes gasoline too, so uh, I think we got someone that we can relate to. My name is Teresa, I'm 44 years old. I'm from Williamsport, Pennsylvania, and I'm addicted to smelling gasoline. When I wake up in the morning, uh, the first thing I do is I roll over, sit up, and smell my gas bottle. The first thing I do in the morning is get up, roll out of bed, fall on the floor, and then go make coffee. She smells gasoline. She's already got a bottle sitting next to her to wake up to. She's just like, <sniffs> and it's all good from there. Then I'll get up, take another sniff of the gasoline, and then I'll come downstairs, and a couple minutes later, I'll take another sniff of it. Couple minutes later, she's got like bottles around the house. Every minute, I'm gonna need to smell some gasoline, so let's put put one on top of the fridge, on top of the stove, next to the microwave. Literally everywhere is probably like gasoline. Teresa has been addicted to smelling gasoline for over 30 years. She's been doing that for 30 years. Every 10 minutes and even wakes up in the middle of the night for a fix. A fix? They call it a fix? Why do you call it a fix? Uh, I don't like that word when they're like, for a fix, or I, when I get my fix of this. It's, it's, uh. How to explain how it smells, I just love the smell of it. How it makes my nose feel inside the back of my throat. Oh. So it gives her a feeling, okay. Teresa was only 13 years old when her dad asked if she wanted to smell his gas can. Good job, Dad. I smelled it that one time, and that was all it took. Now she stashes four water bottles filled with gasoline throughout the house for easy access. No matter where I'm at, I have a bottle with me. I keep it either in my purse. I wonder if her family or friends know about this. Like, they're all going out to dinner, and she just pulls out her purse, and she takes the bottle. She acts like it's normal. She just unscrews it and goes... And then they're all just sitting there like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> what the hell, Teresa? Um, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, she interrupted the can. Oh, my gosh. Why? Why did you do this? <laughs> that might make me feel better. Takes a sniff of gas about 120 times a day. 43,800 times a year. Wow. Nice. When I walk in the door, the first thing that hits me is the smell of gas. Teresa's boyfriend. Like in your garage. And now we're smelling gas while you're cooking. And your point is, if you don't like it, go upstairs. When Teresa doesn't have gasoline, watch out. 
um, she does get very angry. Oh, ooh, feisty. If you don't want to smell my gasoline, get the hell upstairs. I got, I got bottles everywhere. You're gonna go upstairs. But I'm not gonna sit here and have you throw it in my face when, you know. You, I'm not throwing I, it in your I, face. I I'm quit, just saying, you've been saying I'm... that for years, but you're still smelling gas. Teresa doesn't work and is supported by her boyfriend. She doesn't work? She spends almost $400 Why doesn't a month she work? on her addiction. Is she retired? Frank fight over it. You know, take the last couple dollars we have, just... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, she spends, like, all of the money on gasoline. Go get the gasoline can filled because I have to have my gasoline to snap. I come to the gas station about twice a week. The more I go to the gas station, the fresher the gas is. I've heard her talk Teresa's about situations daughter. where she chose the gas over buying food or something like that. She just needs her fix. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and also comment down below and tell me if you want to see more of these types of videos. Whatever type of videos that are new that's out, trendy, I'll talk about them for you guys and I'll react to them and things like this. It was actually really fun doing this. It's a new type of video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give me. And peace out, guys. I'll see you later. Boop, 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 boop.